all right guys so welcome back to our channel um so i decided to make this video because on tuesday night i accidentally threw my wedding ring in the trash and i was devastated for two days um until frank found it in the trash um and so um, I posted about it on Facebook. I didn't post about it on Instagram, but the Facebook post basically, there were three posts. The first one said that um, I was so devastated and I hope I found my ring. And then the third one said that I, I, you know, I searched all over and I didn't find the ring. Um, and um, I was, you know, really devastated about losing the ring to begin with because of what it symbolized and um, so so that my fingers wouldn't feel naked I put uh, my old wedding band on um, and you know I felt fine I mean I've still said that I lost my ring but I felt fine and um, and then Frank found it and we immediately went to go get it resized um, because the reason why I took it off to begin with was because I didn't want to lose it um, because I had, you know, lost some of my baby weight and and because I lost it, the ring became loose. Um, and so in an attempt to not lose the ring, I lost it anyway. But now I have it back, so it's okay. Um, so while thinking about that and, you know, thinking about what it symbolized and, you know, the reasons why, um, you know, we got married and, um, you know the you know the purpose of the wedding ring and all that good stuff um, I thought that might be a good time to share with you guys what's in our wedding box um, and so we have a wedding box and I actually got the box at my bridal shower and it was a box that was made by my sister-in-law and it's pretty big um, and it's heavy because there's a lot of stuff in here but I thought that this would be a good time to show you guys the things that I kept from our wedding day um, and basically um, when she gave it to me she already had a few things in here so like there was a bottle of champagne um, there was like a notepad and pen journal type thing so that like we could journal our feelings and share them with each other um, there was also a shirt that my brother had gotten me because he calls me gizmo so he got me a gizmo shirt um, and um, just a whole bunch of cute little things. Some of the things are still in here. Of course, like the wine is gone, um, but some of those things are still in here. Um, and then a lot of the things are things that I put in here from our actual wedding day and things that I felt were sentimental. I have even put um, some wedding favorites from some of the weddings we've attended in here. Um, this is one, and I'll talk to you guys about that later. But what, babe? Mm -hmm. Oh, why are you looking at me? You're being weird. Okay, so when she made the box, it was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, it basically has Mr. and Mrs. Young, um, just married, our wedding date. Um, it's really cute, and this is DIY, um, and I believe she still makes them. So if anyone is interested in, in it, I will put her information in the info box um but it was really helpful because I didn't think that we would need a box um to hold some of our things but we have a lot of stuff so um it's really helpful um and I don't know if you guys can see it but it was really nice so I'm just gonna take some of the stuff out and show you guys what's in here um I'm just gonna keep closing this is really nice though wasn't it yeah. did you ever look at the inside before I don't think I paid attention to this, but I probably did, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay, so some of the stuff I'm going to take out and move because of some stuff from like other weddings that we've gone to. Um, but a few things, they do my holding this open for me really quick. Um, so the first thing is this headband. This is the headband that I wore. Um, at our wedding and our reception. Um, I haven't worn it again just because I don't feel like I had any sort of occasion that would require anything like this um and i don't know maybe in 30 years you know if i ever have a daughter she can wear it i guess um but i decided to keep this um and i'll probably keep it until i don't know i guess if i think somebody else might need it 
um and then this was our wedding agenda so basically has like the start of the day from beginning to end as well as um a detailed list of all of um the guests and who you know where they should sit and all of that um so we still have a copy of that um this is not a part of our wedding but this is a book that I made for Frank uh, for our first Christmas together um, so I decided to just keep it um, because it definitely tells a story about why I love him so much so and I got this book from lovebookonline.com and it came really quickly so if you guys want to try that you should um, These are just some of the wedding cards that we got. We have a ton of them. Um, and I just didn't know where to put the rest. So, um, ton of wedding cards. Um, I kept them though because um, some of them were really, really nice. And people took a lot of time to, um, you know, write something really nice and sweet for us. So, I decided to keep them all. Um, and don't fall. Okay. Um, this, <laughs> this is from my bachelorette party. I had two of them. One was on a, I think one was on a Friday night and one was on a Saturday night. And by the time I got to the one on Saturday night, I basically slept the entire night because I was so tired from the first night. So, um, this was from that. Um, uh, these were on our wedding cake so of course why for young and this was a part of our wedding cake i will i might put a picture in here of our wedding cake of our wedding cake i'm not completely sure but i might just stick one in here so you guys could see how it looked on there um that's not ours that's not ours i don't think any of that is ours Okay, I had I had a lot of garter belts <laughs> for our wedding. Uh, my sister-in-law, she got these made for me on Etsy. Um, and I just didn't want to toss this. So I had an extra one like this that I tossed or that Frank took off and tossed at the wedding because I just didn't want to lose these. They're really, really nice. Um, and it was my also my something blue, so... It was really nice um, and I didn't want to lose it and then I have like a DIY shirt that was made for me and it still sticks together so that's why I haven't worn it and I probably won't wear it um, but basically it says forever young and dude um, you're getting married and blah 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 it's a whole bunch of stuff on there um, that was made at my bachelorette party so I decided to keep that. This is also for my bride, uh, bachelorette party. And this flash drive has like all our wedding pictures, videos, all that stuff on here. Um, we actually have two flash drives like that. Um, this, <laughs> this is a tutu that <laughs> my sister-in-law made that I actually wore on the second night of my bachelorette party, but I was asleep in it, so. I mean, that's all, I, I was asleep, so I really don't know what happened there because I was asleep. Um, this is our wedding CD, so this was a part of one of our wedding favorites. We made um, probably like, I don't know, like 15 to 20 songs that we really liked um, or that we felt, you know, was a good fit for us and we put it on here and then the other thing was we made um, personalized, sh uh, personalized shot glasses so it has our picture on it and on the back it says forever young with our wedding date um, so I think that was really cool and then <sighs> the stuff that I find it. okay so this was from I think this was from the second night that try party I don't remember but basically you know it's like the ring and the handcuffs and this was one of my sashes I don't remember because I had like three or four I think and um yeah so I guess they were saying that I was locked down um here is the other one 
it looks like it's chocolate on it I really don't know but this one was really cool too and I wore this one at my bridal shower as well and then I kept two of the boutonnieres from our wedding um, um, and someone that I went to school with she made all of our bouquets our boutonnieres um, and um, and my both of my bouquets for me um, and she's really good so you guys should should consider her and then um, like the rest of the stuff is just like I think I told you guys about like the journal and um, oh I didn't even see these I'm gonna take these out these are like note cards this is really cool I'm gonna actually take these out to use these um, there's like a little eye mask for going to bed and this is also nice it says hopes hope shines brightest in the darkest moments so like this is something that like you know you and your significant other or your husband or wife you can write things um, like if you guys are going through a hard time or you have issues like these are the things this is a place where you can write down the things to help you remember um, you know why you're together why you love each other you know all that good stuff um, and then I don't know what that is. Uh, that's another wedding card. Um, and then, like, she made us this, um, this, like, little canvas thingy. And basically it says, like, God created soulmates. Um, it has his birthday and my birthday. And it says, our paths collided, 7 14 12th, which is when we met. And then it says, I said yes on February 28th, 2014. Yes, basically just explaining, you know, when we met and all that good stuff, um, which is really nice. Um, and I feel like, you know, once we have more space that we can put up some of this stuff, I would like if I have. My goal is to have like a little office or like a little nook in the in the hole so that I can um, have a place to put all my little trinkets and stuff. Um, but in the meantime, I think that this is a really good place for us to, or for me to hold it, um, without it getting damaged or hurt or lost. So for the most part, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and, um, tell you what was in our wedding box. I'm probably going to do another video of what's in our relationship box. Um, and that has more stuff like... Um, more stuff like what, uh, like when we went on dates or movie tickets or concerts, things like that. Um, I am going to show you guys something else. So we've gone to a few weddings, um, and I do have a couple like invitations from weddings that we've gone to, but so this is like a wedding program from one of, uh, two of our friends wedding. They got married. April 2016 so they are coming up on their second wedding wedding anniversary um, and this is the CD from their wedding um, and then um, the recent wedding that we went to they had like a cool like gift um, which is basically like measuring cups and it basically says love beyond measure which i thought was really really cute and like you can actually use these for measuring cups so i'm probably not because i don't want to lose the gift um and then at their wedding we also they had a photo booth so we took some really cool pictures um and for some reason frank decided to put on a panda helmet thing so but it was a really nice wedding we had a really good time um and yeah and I think I might also do another video on like wedding planning tips and wedding um, budgeting and things like that because um, I mean for the most part I think our subscribers know like that we got married pretty young um, 23 and 24 yeah 23 and 24 we were 23 and 24 so um, we were, you know, pretty young, but, um, but we, you know, paid for our wedding on our own. Um, so basically, you know, like budgeting and planning and most of the things I did myself or my mom and my, and my aunt helped me to do and my bridesmaids. So, um, you know, most of it, we pretty much, you know, Frank just said, you know, 
whatever you like <laughs> you just go for it or whatever so that's pretty much what we did and it all came together so I think I might do that just because um, I'm on a Facebook page called um, Simply Simply Exquisite, um, and a few of the girls on there are um, recently married or are in the planning stages of getting married, um, and they've been having not necessarily a hard time with getting you know stuff or doing stuff, but um, it's definitely not easy when you're doing it on your own. Um, but there are ways to make it easier. Um, like creating a spreadsheet and things like that. So, I will probably talk about those things at a later date. Um, but, yep, this video shouldn't be this shouldn't be that long. I just wanted to talk to you about that, guys. And how I'm really glad that I found my, my wedding ring. Um, because I was devastated and I cried for like two days. It seemed like an eternity. And then Frank found it. So... He's, I screamed for a long time and my throat was all hurting and stuff but anyway so hopefully next time I see you guys I'll have a fitting ring because it wasn't fitting at first anyway thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and like this video and also share it um, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.